just a couple days ago put this video up. And in the video, I explained the possibility that Hurricane Irma could hit New York on 9-11. And that was a good possibility. It still is a possibility. And you all like that video. It's about to hit 100,000 views on that one. So that definitely went viral. But, you know, things change. Nobody's sure exactly where this hurricane's going to go. But one thing we know for sure, it looks like it's going to be a monster. It's probably going to be a Category 5. And it's going to be very powerful. And wherever it hits, it could be catastrophic and devastating. So that's why I'm paying close attention to this to try to keep all of you safe and also up to date on what could possibly happen. And so I have an update now. We're getting closer. Of course, today is September the 4th. So we have a little more information and it's getting closer. Um, I'll say this right now. If you live in Miami, Florida, which is a big city, we all know Miami, Florida, it's a beautiful city, I would get prepared just in case it comes to your city. Because right now, the way things are looking, you might be in the direct path of this very powerful storm. Uh, you can see it spinning here. This thing's ferocious. And it's going to get stronger and stronger because now it's moving into waters that are more favorable for development. These are warmer waters, so there's no doubt it's going to get stronger. Now, if you take a look at the spaghetti models here, all of them have it pretty much going right into right about where Miami is. You can clearly see it right there. And this is a recent update. These are the latest spaghetti models. And this storm track here, you see it's at least a Category 4 by Friday, and it's headed towards Miami. It's very clear. Uh, very interesting. Now, here you see right here Hurricane Irma. And this one also shows it going directly towards pretty much Florida and Miami. And there's another one right here. These, this one has several of the spaghetti uh, prediction track models here. And most of them look like it's taking it right into about where Miami is. Uh, that's why I'm saying if you live in Miami, I would get prepared. Now I want you to check out these short videos and combine them together. This is where it gets quite interesting and very spooky for you if you live in Miami. Uh, there's a site called Ventusky, and it's very elaborate. In-depth information is put into it. The graphics are incredible. And this site predicts it to make a direct hit on Miami. Check these videos out. They're coming up right now. You can watch them right now. It's going to be one after another, a few short videos. And this is where it shows this direct hit on Miami. So like and share this video, and stay safe, everyone. Get prepared, and if you live in Miami, get prepared even more. And I'll keep you updated. Someone sent me information about this site. It's called Vent Ventusky. And I'm checking it out, and it's pretty cool. And what you see here is Hurricane Irma, and it's showing wind gusts. And you can move the arrow around, see different, um, to different areas, and see what the wind speed is, wind gusts. You can get temperature. Precipitation, clouds, wind speed, wind gusts, air pressure, thunderstorms, waves, snow cover, and freezing level. So it's really neat. And so what I'm going to do, and it's supposed to be pretty accurate from what I hear. It's definitely a lot of detailed, precise information in it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take it day by day and show you what it predicts Hurricane Irma is going to do. This is quite interesting. So it advanced it to September the 7th, which is a Thursday. And you can see it intensified a lot, the wind speed. And that makes sense because it's going to be in warmer water there. And look where it is on the 7th. It's going to go just a little bit north, about to hit um, Santiago, Santa Domingo, Port-au-Prince. Now you see on the 8th it's even stronger. Much more powerful circulation, higher winds. And at this time, it's just a little bit north of um, Santiago, Cuba. Just a little bit north of, um, of the eastern side of Cuba there. So Cuba would really get a pretty, pretty good impact there. And look at this. It has another one coming right behind it. And here on Saturday, September the 9th, you can see it's just tearing into Cuba, 
the central nor uh, northern part of it, and it's really intensified. I'd say it's probably a Cat 5. And now we move to the 10th. September the 10th, which is Sunday, one day before 9-11, and it's in between Cuba and the southern tip of Florida. Just below the southern tip of Florida right there. And it's very powerful and ferocious. It's got to be a Cat 5. Now this is where it gets quite interesting and also scary, especially if you live in Florida. Um, on 9-11, you can see, this is late in the day on 9-11, September 11th, 2017. This powerful, ferocious monster of a hurricane makes a direct hit on Miami, Florida. You can see it right there. That's, that's, what, that's what it's showing. A direct hit on Miami, Florida. Wow, that is crazy. And this is September the 12th, and it has it going all the way up the um, eastern coast of Florida, just skirting along the coast all the way up there. You can see. Wow. So on September 13th, it looks like... Um, Possibly, I guess, a low pressure or something just sucks it right up into Georgia, South Carolina, and then it starts to dissipate, and it's weakening back in the Nash up in the Nashville area. This is quite interesting. Like this video and share it. I don't know. Uh, this advanced computer prediction, quite elaborate system here. If it's right, look out Miami. Get prepared.